In this video I'm going to go through all the electronics for the uh, S800 wing. Uh, I've got a Tyrannus radio and X4R 4 channel receiver and rather than using the supplied multi-rotor 30 amp fly color ESC I'm using a what is it I think it's a Detrim 30 amp ESC with a built-in BEC. Now this collection of components is the stabilization circuitry really. The, the red board here is the power distribution board. That doesn't have any components on it. It's all just electrical connections. This little piece here is a 12 volt down to 5 volt voltage regulator or BEC. And that has to get soldered on there. Now because I'm using uh, an ESC that already has a BEC in it, I don't need to use that. So I won't bother with that. And this little board here is uh, the stabilization circuitry. These are the gyros, and that just plugs into the top there like that. Now, having a closer look at the stabilization and power distribution, uh, the right wing servo plugs in here, left wing servo plugs in here. Uh, this is the aileron connection to the receiver, elevator connection to the receiver, uh, and auxiliary, which is where you connect your mode switch. And you can switch between uh, gyros off, gyros in rate mode or gyros in hold mode. I don't really understand them just yet. I'll find out about them as we go along. If you were using the power distribution board, you would solder in your, your battery connection here. That would go through to the ESC power out there, ESC servo connection. On this side, if you had put the little BEC on the board, you'd get 5 volts power out of here and 12 volts power out of here, I think, something like that. Uh, I'm not using them, so I don't have to worry about all these different solderings. I'm gonna connect up my receiver and ESC just the normal way. Now we have three pots here, three adjustable pots. One's for the rudder, elevator, and aileron. Uh, this board can be configured to work on a conventional style plane, but we're using it on a wing, or delta mixing, I think they call it. So we're not using the rudder at all. And these just um, can be used to increase or decrease or reverse the uh, stabilization action. Now it's always a bit tricky working out these dip switches. Uh, this is the delta wing, which is what we're using. And you can see the switch one is on, switch two and three are off. So that black square is indicating which way the switch goes. So switch one is on or up switch two and three are off or back. Very confusing. You never know whether it's the white or the black, but it's the black that you're looking at in this case. All right, it's time to connect everything up now. So we've got the board there. I'll put the double-sided tape so that I can stick it down on the floor, arrow facing front. So I've got the right servo going into, into set A, left servo going into set B, So there the servo is connected. Now I have my receiver. Now you're going to have to get yourself some male to male connectors, which they don't supply. So they're these style of connectors on both ends. All right, channel one I have set up as aileron, which goes into slot one here. Channel two, elevator, into the elevator slot. Mode switch into auxiliary. That's all connected now. My ESC is going into channel 3 on my receiver. And because my ESC has a BEC, that is supplying 5 volts to the receiver, which supplies 5 volts to the board. So it's all connected up and ready to go now. Now I have my Tyrannus programmed up. Aileron channel 1, elevator channel 2, throttle channel 3, and the mode switch on channel 4. Now I'll connect the battery. It's quite loud, isn't it? My receiver's connected. Oh, there we go. So you have to hold it still for a little while. So it'll stabilise. There you go, I just learnt that. So now that's in rate mode. So I have the different modes set up on the, what is it, the SG switch here. And I have in the back position, that's zero. Middle position is minus 100. Forward position is plus 100. And you can see zero is manual mode. 
minus 100 is rate mode, plus 100 flashing is uh, hold mode. I'll leave it in rate mode and so I've now double sided taped that down onto the floor there. That's all nice and secure. I sort of need to work out somewhere to put the receiver. Uh, I'm not too keen to put it right out in the wing but I might have to eventually. That might be right there. Anyway, that's pretty good. Now for the FPV gear. The camera comes with a servo style connector. So that's power in and video out. Uh, and that is something like 5 to 12 volts to power that. The transmitter uh, comes with five wires, unterminated, but we have power, ground and video. And this is audio and ground, and we don't need those two. So we need to be able to get the signal from the camera to the transmitter. So I'll need a female servo connector on there. Some transmitters will pass the voltage through to the camera. This one isn't that sort, so I need to put voltage in to both the camera and the transmitter. Uh, so I've made up a little Y lead here. Right, so I've soldered on the female style servo connector to the transmitter. That goes to the camera. I can plug any camera in there. We have power coming in through the balance port there, going to here. Power goes into the transmitter and to the camera, and signal goes back to the transmitter. Comes with a rubber ducky antenna, a reverse polarized SMA. I'm going to change that for a decent circuit polarized. So the transmitter has the prong in the middle, antenna has the hole. The transmitter has a series of dip switches to determine the frequency in the group, uh, and it's covered with shrink wrap so I'm going to have to cut the shrink wrap off that there we go now you can set your channel okay we're ready to go with stabilization and FPV camera uh, I've put the transmitter out on the wing here and I actually had to cut out a little bit of foam here because it the transmitter is too small or too short to fit into that space but it's okay now I'm not going to be running a GoPro um, so I've just got a, a little battery in there to replace the weight and I can actually fire up the FPV system using this battery here, which I'll do. Stabilisation system is in there, we should see that light up. No, not immediately. So that's good. That's stabilised mode, that's rate mode. That's off. All right. Let's first of all, without any FPV, I'll just try the stabilisation system. See how well that works. CG's about right, I think. All right. We'll we'll just fly. Get the trim right. Bit nose heavy at the moment. I just need to. Adjust my trims up a little bit. Right, let's go again. Better now. All right, so let's try some stabilisation. So this is manual. That's stabilised. It is nice and stable too. And this is hold mode, whatever that is. Back to rate mode. Back to manual. It's right, manual now. Stabilised. Does smooth it out quite nicely. It's still got reasonably good control. Manual now. Stabilised. Hands off. Oh, look at that. That's quite nice. See how slow flying goes with stabilised. It's quite nice. Very cool. So there we go. Stabilised. Doesn't have a big effect. Uh, I guess you could turn it up, maybe. Uh, but it just makes it feel nice and smooth, I suppose. 
All right, let's try some FPV now. So I will, well, the camera is plugged in. All right, so FPV, it's a pretty narrow field of view. Bit narrower than I'm used to, I guess, but let's get it recording. Recording now. You're good to go. We're in manual. Should I take off and stabilize? Why not? That's what you're supposed to do, I think. <laughs> not too bad. Bit of a dull picture, maybe. It's very narrow. <laughs> I prefer a wider angle of view. But this is fun. Where am I? There's the gun club, or the dog obedience club, so I'm back up this way. Alright, there we go. We'll run down the pitch. This is cool. This camera's not too bad at all. Narrow angle of view. Colours are quite good. We've got pretty decent light, I suppose. Nothing wrong with this at all, really. Yeah, let's go for it. Whoops. Hit myself. <laughs> this is great. All right, so this camera is quite all right. It seems to be adjusting to the light quite well. Got stabilization on. Should try it with it off. Okay, we're on manual now. And I've sort of got more twitchy control. This is very cool. Hardly need the stabilization, I don't think. <laughs> Excellent. This is fun. All right, we'll come back through the goals. In stabilized mode. Does just smooth it out a bit, I suppose. Where are the goals? Whoop, there we go. Yeah. Too easy. Goals over here. Big wide ones. Go back through those ones. Full blast. Yeah. Sideways. Yeah. <laughs> this is great fun. <laughs> All right. So we do lose the image when it looks down. Wide dynamic range would be helpful. I'd like a wider angle of view. So I'll try a different camera. Dare we go all the way that way? Oh. Very cool. It's a long way behind me, two footy fields behind me. Shoo awesome. This is very nice indeed. Approach from down here. There we go. Glide it in. At my feet. <laughs> right at my feet. So this is all working very well. I like it. It's awesome. Stabilization is pretty subtle. Uh, probably don't really need to bother with it, I don't think. But it's good to try it. FPV is good. What am I trying to, going to try? Oh, it's going to turn the stabilization up a little bit. Very good.